Hey guys, guess what we're making today? We're making a three-stranded necklace, boom. Yeah, we're making a three-stranded necklace, I love it. I don't know if you can see the colors, but it's dark brown, bronze, and green. You can pick any color you want, and you can do different bigger beads or sparkle beads or whatever. I decided to do more of a pearl. I did more of a pearl with this necklace. I love it, it is so pretty. Uh, it's a, it takes time, it, it's a little tedious because you have to string all those beads, but other than that, it's pretty simple. So, let's get started. So this is what you're gonna need in order to make this three-stranded necklace. You're gonna need your beads. You're gonna need some hoops, some some metal hoops, circles, whatever. You're gonna need your, I'm gonna do a toggle. You could do a lobster clasp. You could do another kind of clasp. I'm using a toggle clasp. You're gonna need actually four split rings, chain, wire, your wire to, to string your beads on. And then you're also gonna need your crimping beads and last, but most important, well, every single time, is your tools. So I have my long nose pliers, my round nose pliers, and my cutter pliers. And I always talk about it, but I love these electrical cutters from Home Depot, because I need them both. One is strong and one is for something else. So. This is what you're gonna need. So first, we're going to string the beads. Now, if you want the um, strands close together, you're gonna wanna do an inch difference per wire. So the wire I'm gonna use to not only string it, but to connect it to the hoop is gonna be about nine and a half inches. And I want my strands closer together. So this is gonna to have to be 10 and a half inches and then 11 and a half inches. Now, if you want the strands further apart, then do two inches apart. So if you did a nine and a half strand, then you're gonna do a 11 and a half strand and a 13 and a half strand. So just play around with it and see what you want. But for this particular necklace, I want these strands close together where they're almost touching when I have it on me. I'm gonna string my shorter strand first. That's almost like a tongue twister. So I have strung my beads and I did not cut it because I do not like to cut it beforehand because if I cut it too short, then I've wasted time stringing it. I have to redo it. Or if I cut it too long, I've wasted wire. I like to save as much as possible. So what you're gonna do after you string it, you're gonna put a crimping bead on, then you're going to take your hoop and you're going to wrap your wire around, leaving your crimping bead closest to the bead side. And then you're going to put your wire through your crimping bead just like that. Give it a little kind of room so it has a little bit of movement. And then you're gonna take your long nose pliers and you're going to cramp your bead. Yeah, so beautiful. Now you see all this, you're gonna put it right back through the beads. My wire is a little too thick to put through my holes, so I'm gonna cut it. Make sure that when you cut it, you cut it close to the bead as possible because you do not want that wire poking any, any, anybody. So I'm gonna pull this down. I'm gonna cut this and do it to the other side. So you get your crimping bead, put your ring on, put a ring on it, loop it around. Okay, so you do not, you do not want any extra line. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna use gravity. So you're gonna pull the wire that's sticking out and you're going to pull to make sure there, there is no gap, because you don't want gaps, you don't want it loose. You want a little bit, the loop to be a little loose. You want that loop to be a little loose so your your hoop can move around, but other than that, you want as little wire looseness as possible. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this big piece and I'm gonna loop it back through the pearl. Now it takes, it takes time, so don't get frustrated, don't get discouraged. The more you do it, the more necklaces you do, the better you'll get at it. So put it through, don't just clip it really short and not put it through your bead, because if you clip it without putting it through your bead, then most likely the wire's gonna go through the crimping bead and break your whole necklace. So make sure you put at least the wire through one of the beads. So I strung my first strand, it's connected to my hoop. Yay, I'm so excited. And then just do that for the next two. Do exactly what we did, string it, and then use your crimping bead, hook it around, blah, blah, blah. All like that. So do that for your next two. Now that I got my necklace all stringed, ooh, so excited. 
I'm going to put on my chain. I have already measured my chain according to how long I want it. I kind of want more like a choker in a sense where this is closest to my neck and all that stuff. Um, you could actually cut the chain in half first, but I like to put my chain on and then cut it in half. So you're gonna take one of your split rings, get both your, your round nose and your long nose plias, pull it apart, put your chain through the hoop, Put your split ring through your big old ring thingy <laughs> and then put it together. Make sure there's no gap, no gap, no gap because you don't want the chain coming out. And so I always overlap my wire on my split ring so there is no gap. Make it really tight. So I was connecting my chain to my first loop and then I'm gonna get do it on the other side with the split ring and there you go so ah it's coming together we're almost there I'm gonna take my chain and fold it in half and that is where I'm gonna cut it so get my chain fold it in half and then cut it and then I am going to get my other split ring and put my toggle on. So you get your split ring, do the same thing you did. You open it up and you put it on the chain or you open it up and you put your toggle on it, whichever comes first, whichever you wanna do first. And then you put your chain on, put your chain on, put it together. Again, make sure there's no gaps, no gaps. Gaps are bad, gaps are really bad. Gaps are a jeweler's nightmare. Look at that, first toggle on. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side with the other toggle. And there you have your necklace. Would you looky there, looky looky, your three-stranded necklace. I got my dark brown, my bronze, and my green to match the shirt. Ah, isn't it so cute? Love it, love it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I really love it. How about you? How about you? Okay. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. It takes a little time to string each bead, but man, it's worth it in the end. It's so worth it. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's all I got. I do videos twice a week. So if you want to subscribe, click right here. And if you want to see more of my videos right here, right here, if not, thumbs up share like do your thing whatever Sh thumbs up and share is the same thing anyway all right <laughs> i love you guys i'll talk to you later bye